Hello everyone. My name is Sagar Pudale. I am an English teacher in Saint Tukaram National Model School, Latur. We have started a series based on singular and plural nouns. In last video, we have seen what is a singular noun and what is a plural noun. Singular noun means whenever we are talking about just one thing, one person, one place. Plural opposite of that. If it's more than one, it can be two or more than that. The first rule of making the plural nouns we have seen that is just by adding the letter s yes at the end. We can say to add the suffix. Teacher, teachers, street, streets, pencil, pencils, book, books, elephant, elephants. What I am doing? I am adding just letter s yes at the end. And whenever we add s yes at the end, we are getting the plurals. That is just one way. So whenever it's a possible to make the plurals by adding the letter s yes, to these words, we call regular plurals. But everywhere this is not possible. In some cases, we have to use other ways, and that time we call it irregular plurals. The first way of forming the plurals of irregular nouns is by adding the letter s. Yes. If the words are ending with these letters. Only few are there. Easy to remember. Yes, X, Z, S, H, and C, H. Yes, X, Z, S, H, and C, H. Only five. Three are singular. Yes, X, Z. Two are in groups. S, H, C, H. Whenever words will end with these letters, we have to add E, S at the end. We'll start first with E, S. Gas, gases. The letter, the word is ending with yes, so I can say gas, gases. If the word is ending with x, wax, waxes, box, boxes. Same for this ending with z, walls, walls. Here, this uh, walls means it's a kind of a dance form. Walls, walls. Then we have s h, dish, dishes, c h. Church, churches. There are many nouns which end with these letters, and where we have to add es. For example, bus, buses, box, boxes. Can you tell me a few in the comment? Yes. Let's see who gives more. The next way of forming the plurals of irregular nouns is. If the word is ending with y, then this y we have to change into i. But there is some rule of making y into i. When we can make y into i? If before y there is a consonant, then only. For example, this word sky, it is ending with y. Before y there is a consonant. K is a consonant, so we can say sky, skies, army, armies, penny, pennies. But for these two, before y, there is a vowel. We know that in English there are only five vowels: a, e, i, o, u. So boy, before y, there is a vowel. So this y will be remain y. We should not change it into i, as we have done earlier. Sky, skies. Y has become i because before y there was a consonant. But here, here we have a vowel. So we'll keep y as it is, and just we have to add yes. Boy, boys, Ali, Alice. That's it. Well, as I have said in earlier video, these are the generalizations to make some plurals. These are not rules. Why these are not rules? Because everywhere all the nouns don't follow them. There are some exceptions. For example, this one: monkey, monkeys, m o n k e y. Before y, there is e, so we have to just add e s. Not y is converting into i. So as they are not same everywhere, we can say generalizations. These are not the rules. The next rules are there. Many are there. That we'll see in the next video. Till then, bye and have a good day.